We're learning new details about a shootout involving police in North Philadelphia. A SWAT officer was shot while serving a search warrant. Tonight, a barber shop owner tells us his business was caught in the middle of the chaos. Eyewitness News reporter Madeline Wright is at the Roundhouse with the details. Madeline? Good evening, Jessica. It was pretty frightening. Customers were getting their hair cut at the barber shop when all of a sudden, heavily armed officers came in and told them to get out. Surveillance video shows law enforcement with long guns and helmets walking into Albert's Barber Shop on Lehigh Avenue and 2nd Street in North Philadelphia, apparently searching for a suspected drug dealer. They come and, you know, and everybody, everybody, shut up, everybody. Can you turn it off the, the music? Um, everybody come on and sit here in the in la, in la silla. Um. We were scared, says Barber Domingo Diaz. Customers were getting their hair cut on February 11th when officers started frisking employees, eventually ordering everyone to get up and go outside. Barbers had to go to the police station for questioning. The police damaged the back door while they were searching for the suspect, says the owner of the barber shop, Jose Albert Almonte Garcia. He wants the city to pay for the repairs. Eventually, police took this man, Christian Reyes, into custody. Police say Reyes was hoarding drugs and manufacturing pills in a third floor apartment above the barber shop. Reyes is being held on $3.5 million bail and is charged with attempted murder for allegedly shooting a police officer in his bulletproof vest. The way police ordered us out looked bad. People think we did something wrong, that we had something to do with what happened upstairs. Some customers have been scared to come back. On any given day, barbers tell me all six of these chairs would be seating clients. Now the chairs are mostly empty. We wanted our customers to know that they should not be afraid of coming because we've never had a problem. We are good people. The owner of the barber shop says he doesn't know who the guy is who got arrested and that his business has nothing to do with the illegal drugs that were being manufactured. He says he's just renting in the same building. I reached out to police for comment. They said that if the owner feels mistreated, he can file a complaint with the Bureau of Internal Affairs. Live at the Roundhouse, Madeline Wright, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Madeline, thank you.